Renewable energy in South Africa is quite an exciting industry. It came from almost a zero base in 2011 when the government launched the first program to the current state of affairs, which is 6,300 megawatts already committed under PPAs, of which about 1,660 megawatts are already feeding into the grid, which is quite an amazing story. <laughs> Currently, ESCOM boasts that we've been 80 days without load shedding. So I think that's great guns for now. But I must say, I think the renewable energy power plants had some part to play in that. This is a 75 megawatt project with trackers. So it's, uh, it's the same size as our Kalkbult project, but with a different technology that is a bit more advanced in the construction. It took around 12 months to build and has now been operating for, for a few months. So it's uh, working out very well. The Drienberg solar farm is actually split in two, called the eastern and the western side. And in total, there are 247 arrays of 1,020 panels each. One thing unique about this plant, if we compare to our previous plant being Kalkbult, very similar to Linda, we've got a single axis tracking system. And it means that it actually tracks the sun to optimize the generation capacities. The RE IPP program is a renewables program which the government brought in and started allowing private generation. The IPP finds an area where they think they can establish something like this. They, they do all their measurements of the solar ads. The reason why uh, the specific farm, it's got one of the biggest ESCOM substations. It's a dual power station. It gives electricity to Allowell North, Burgersdorp and Tentestad. The Drimbach PV farm connects into the traction station uh, line and feeds into the national grid via this line. It's a national imperative that these types of projects actually reach fruition. We have both renewable energy as well as significant energy efficiency measures that needs to come to the fore. It's all about logistics really and it's quite complicated when you come to a country that is not very well familiar with solar and you come out to the far middle of, of basically nowhere, if I can say that, in, in the Karoo. Uh, so to get everyone here, all the equipment here, and get it, it installed in time is, is, is basically the, one of the main challenges. The number of people that peaked during construction is 1,200. They are from the locations around the area. Going forward, they are now skilled. They can go and get work elsewhere. Few years uh, of them uh, are still working with uh, SCATEC, then uh, it says to us as a local leadership, this project managed to change the lives of many people in our community. In Drienberg, we've uh, committed to invest 1.11% of total revenue to the local communities in terms of driving various projects. These solar farms bring hope to these communities. Skytech and ourselves have been involved in um, the, the development of a crash. We went and looked at the crash this morning uh, and it's great to see how it's actually impacted the kids. Foundation learning is paramount. We've taken it really upon ourselves to make sure we focus on these educational programs, starting right at the bottom at the foundation learning. Oh, the <laughs>
All of these programs came out as needs of the community through well thought out community needs assessments being done. We have to thank our partners in terms of Chikalulu in that regard as well. So um, they've also assisted us and have rolled out many of these programs with us. I strongly believe that these projects, as they support the local community development, is something that we should take to the next generation. This uh, is a major investment. It's uh, more than 1.5 billion rand that goes into the construction of, of, a, of the thing you see around you, and we couldn't have done that without good partners. The investors involved are the same, basically, that we have uh, partnered with for Kalkbult and Linda, so it's great to have a third plant and, and celebrating that today with uh, Stanlib as a local South African financial partner, Simacell as a co-developer and, and local investor, also a BE investor and uh, the Norwegian uh, Development Fund, NOR Fund. These are all partners that we work with across the three parks that we currently have in, in South Africa. It's been exciting, it's been a, a huge learning curve for everybody and I think it's been highly successful. What feeds off finishing a project is finishing it on time with no injuries and Drianberg managed to meet all the requirements and was connected on the grid on time. We've been able to introduce renewable energy into South Africa, into an economy, for the first time ever in the world without subsidies because these plants that are running are actually saving the economy. As of the end of June this year, 4.8 billion rand. That's never been achieved anywhere in the world. South Africa is by far the, the largest market for Sketic Solar and a very successful one. And we're, uh, we're very impressed with, with what South Africa has been able to uh, get off the ground. We strongly believe that uh, given South Africa's blessing of having great sunshine and good areas of wind, that we can certainly take renewable energy to the next level in our country, going all the way to the 45% of total electricity supply by 2030, as estimated in the IRP by government. Sunshine, sunshine, let the sunshine. 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 Let